Another question is, solve the inequality x squared minus x minus 2 greater than 0. So you see that this is again uh, about uh, inequality, and the inequality is the quadratic inequalities. As we said, the first step is to make sure the right side of the inequality is 0. So in this case, the right side is already 0, therefore no need to do any operation. So we can directly try to factorize the left side of the quadratic function. Therefore, you can think of factorizing the function x squared, you can divide it like this, x by x, then uh, 2, factorizing 2, we have only one possibility, which is 2 times 1, then plus uh, positive times negative is negative, negative times negative is positive. You can check if we can get the middle term. Uh, negative x, 2 times x is 2x, the total is positive x. So you see that it's not the middle term. Therefore, we need to change the sign. We need to make this side positive and here negative. Therefore, it becomes like this, positive x, and then with negative 2x, and finally we get negative x, which is the middle term. Okay, now we factorize the left side. Then the next step is to sketch the curve. Actually, to solve the quadratic inequalities, uh, we can uh, do with uh, three methods. You can say solving quadratic inequalities can be performed by three different methods. The first method we can call a graphical method. The second one, we call it number line method. The third one, we call it factor table. So the easiest and the fastest way is to use the graphical method. Therefore, in this example, we follow using the first method, which is the graphical method. And it's working like this. We simply sketch the curve for the quadratic function. So the leading coefficient of the quadratic function is uh, 1, and it's positive. As long as it's positive, therefore the curve takes a concave up shape. And we know that x-axis passes through the curve. In order to uh, cut the curve at two x-intercepts, which defines the roots or the solution for the quadratic function on the left side. The first root is at negative 1 because we know that the first factor is x plus 1. When you equate x plus 1 to 0, x plus 1 equals to 0, then leads to get x equals to negative 1, which is the first root at negative 1. And then the second value of x is at 2 because when x minus 2 equals to 0, which is the second factor, then we can find the second root. It's at 2. So this is 2. Then how to solve and find the solution for the inequality? We simply can say that the critical points, the critical points here, we call them the x-intercepts. x is negative 1 or x is 2. Therefore, now we are looking at the curve where the curve becomes positive because the curve must be positive. It should be above zero. So you see that this part represents a positive side of the curve and this also the positive side of the curve. So the curve becomes positive when x value is below negative one, moving to the left side, or when x value is above two and moving towards positive infinity. Therefore, the set or the solution set, finally you can say, therefore, the solution of the inequality is x is the set of x values that are element in the real numbers such that x is less than negative 1 or x is larger than 2.